Hola, hola, my name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, lover of Asian sunscreens. And today we're talking about a more recent launch from one of my favorite Japanese sunscreen brands. We're talking about Biore UV Aqua Rich Aqua Protection Lotion SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. Now this launched back in the summertime. I am very late to the game. I bought this last month on Yes Style. So I've been using this now for about a good month. Everyone I know who I really respect and value their opinions on, like my friend Tony, Capricornium Skin, Julian, Scamanda 14, and a bunch of other skin influencers have been hyping this up. So I was really excited to get my hands on it and see if this lived up to the hype. Let's get into it. This is a chemical sunscreen. So I will be using my 6F testing rubric where I talk about the feel, finish, filters, formulation, foundation wear, and fragrance. I'll have timestamps down below so you can fast forward to whatever part of the video you wanna see most. And as with all sunscreens, I'm going to be measuring it using my scale and my quarter teaspoon so I can see the volume that it takes up to make sure that I am wearing the adequate amounts. So let's start with the marketing first, talking about the sunscreen and the highlights. If you don't know, so Biore is like holy grail for a lot of people in terms of sunscreen. Screens. Two of their sunscreens, their Aqua Rich Watery Essence and their Athleism are like highly, highly esteemed. The Watery Essence one was like everyone's favorite in 2020. The Athleism one, which is the one in the red tube, is one of my holy grails for oily skin. Like if you want a heavy duty matte sunscreen, that Athleism is, she's the one. So that's why I was really excited to see this one. Looking at some of the marketing behind this, this is a multifunctional and non-sticky formula that won't leave a white cast and its watery texture absorbs quickly into the skin. Sunscreen contains skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid, royal jelly extract, and glycerin so your skin stays hydrated throughout the day. It can be used as a makeup base. Make sure you shake well before use. And just so you guys can hear, ASMR. That's a very watery sunscreen. So make sure you do shake well. Um, so if you don't know, Cal, which is a company behind Biore, they got money for research and development. So there's some really interesting innovation in the formula for this. Specifically, it's a water-based sunscreen that goes on like water and transforms into a water-rich mask-like texture that adheres and conforms perfectly to the skin. And that's due to encapsulated UV filters dispersed in aqua nano capsules that form a thin and even UV blocking film that adheres uniformly like a second layer of skin. So the innovation is behind the overall encapsulation of the filters and the formula that when you work it into the skin, you're able to get a robust and heavy duty film that is very even to really ensure and potentially elevate the SPF protection you get because that film forming is very important, but it's very lightweight and breathable and feels like a second skin. Also, they say this is for face and body use, but with this tiny ass bottle, I'm, this is for my face exclusively. Although this is 70 mil and it's like 12 to $15 depending on where you get it. So I think that's actually a pretty good value. This is water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes, which is nice to know, which is like every other Biore sunscreen I've tried but also even though it is water and sweat resistant, it's very easy to wash off. And again, can be used as a makeup base. So let's getting into the feel of it. So as you can see on screen, this is a watery sunscreen. Like you put this on your skin and it starts dripping down. It's nice and lightweight. And what's nice is you start rubbing it in, it disappears very quickly. So it's a nice lightweight texture. It doesn't require a lot of work. It blends in really well. But as you can see on screen, the finish of it, it's kind of glowy, but it's not very, very greasy. And when it actually sets down, which as they market, it does set down very quick. It's not greasy. If anything, it's more tacky which I think helps with the makeup part. So overall, I really, really enjoy the feel and finish of this, especially considering this is a heavy duty water resistant sunscreen. I think the texture is very elegant for oily skin. It's by no means matte. They don't advertise it as being matte, just know that. But again, when you want a heavy duty water and sweat resistant sunscreen, you have to understand some of the elegance is gonna be compromised, so you're not gonna get like this hyper matte sunscreen. But truth be told, this does remind me a lot of the La Roche-Posay UV Mean 400 Invisible Fluid Sunscreen. They're both nice. I like this one a little bit more, I think. And I actually don't remember right now if the La Roche-Posay one has ethanol. This one does, and I will always favor a sunscreen with ethanol. For me, it just like feels a lot more lightweight on my oily skin, so. In terms of filters, this uses Octinoxate, Evenol T150, Evenol A+, and Tinasorb S. So you're getting that SPF 50+, PA4+, protection. Fun fact, so that Octinoxate, you see in a lot of Japanese sunscreen and it's a safe ingredient. And where I work, we formulate with it, but I've been told so many times, just avoid using octanoxate due to the stigma behind the ingredients. A lot of clients and customers don't wanna see it. So it's, it's interesting when you always see these Japanese brands really rely on it and use it a lot. Again, it is safe. Safety studies behind it do not show any issues thus far yet, but yeah, it's one thing that's always interesting to see with Japanese sunscreens. And with these UV filters, none of them are prone to leaving a white cast. There's also nothing else in the formula that would affect white cast like silica, I don't believe. Therefore, I, this is a great option for a very deep skin. My friend Scamanda14 loves this formula and he swears by it. So I can attest that it does look great on deep skin. So just note that as well. And then other formulation points. Overall, this is a very simple formulation. This does have alcohol in it, ethanol. This also does have fragrance in it, but to me, this does not have a smell or a scent. It just smells like the ethanol, which fades really quickly. But as they do mention, this has hyaluronic acid, glycerin, royal jelly extract. So basically it's aiding in that nice hydrating feel that the sunscreen gives and some of that glowy finish that we see in the skin finish. As they do mention with the foundation wear, this is a great base for makeup 
makeup, it's tacky on the skin a little bit. So I do feel like it kind of grips your foundation a little bit. Because it's heavy duty, it has a natural finish that is moisturizing. Therefore, I don't feel like it makes my makeup get greasier throughout the day. I don't feel like this affects how my makeup wears throughout the day, like the longevity of it. So overall, I do really like it. I did not experience any eye stinging with this. I very rarely do. But yeah, overall, really nice formula with makeup. It doesn't pill or anything. And then fragrance, as I mentioned, this smells like alcohol. This does have fragrance in it, but I don't actually smell like any perfume or anything. So if you're more sensitive to that, just note that. And so with that, that's my review of the Bior UV Aqua Rich Aqua Protection Lotion. This is really nice. This is the Japanese version in my mind of the UV Mean 400 sunscreen from La Roche-Posay. I think I prefer this one a little bit more, partially for the texture and the experience, but also because of the price point. This is cheaper and I believe you get more product out of this. But yeah, it's really interesting. I think it's a nice lineup to the Biore line. High key though, I think I might still stick to my Athlism. That's like the one for oily skin. Um, do note, they also did say this was formulated with acne prone skin in mind. I haven't had any issues with breakouts with this. I think it's a really nice, elegant formula for acne prone skin. But yeah, that was interesting as well. I think that was in some of their marketing from Cow directly is that they had this made with acne prone skin in mind. So let me know down below in the comment section, have you tried this new Biore sunscreen and how do you think it compares to the other Biore sunscreens? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye.